Dan Tomaso. Dan, we have some trick-or-treaters out there tonight in we many communities indeed. in the mid-state, so will things be pretty nice for them? I mean, based on what we see right now, if you can tolerate the wind, which I think many of us can on a warm day like today, it's not going to be that bad. And remember where we're at on the calendar. We're at the end of October, and you don't get many days like this where it's perfectly sunny. We did start with clouds, I will admit that, but I said be patient. The dry air would take over, and wow, what a difference here in Lebanon. Great looking shot, but here's the wind, and our Mifflin Town camera shaking a lot more, but very clear here across the mountains. If you noticed the last couple of days, the mountains have been more obscured by that low level moisture. Not anymore. We don't have to worry about that. Highs today around 64 degrees, just like yesterday. I, I do think many of us will be right near that number again. Normally, we should be close to 62, a low of 55. Yesterday morning, we're already warmer than that. So remember, the last three days have been relatively mild despite the rain that came through, despite the cloud cover as well. Nearing 60 degrees now for Lancaster, upper 50s. The coolest spots remain in the lower 50s or some of the cooler valley locations, but this is a nice window of opportunity. This nice hole in the clouds will prevail through the rest of today. Now, the question is what happens tomorrow? And the reason why I say that is we get more of an easterly flow building in tomorrow as this high kind of sandwiches up next to the departing area of low pressure. So as soon as we cleared out the skies, more clouds will be moving into the region heading into tomorrow. But let's show you precision cast. Not a whole lot going on. And in fact, I don't expect much cloud cover the rest of today, maybe a little bit more overnight. But tomorrow morning's with the time when I think that easterly flow wants to redevelop, throw some clouds east to west. So if you live east of Harrisburg, likely looking at a mostly cloudy afternoon. Areas to the west, perhaps more peaks of sunshine, and then that, those clouds will burn off heading into Saturday. Saturday itself, mostly sunny skies. So from one sunny day, back to clouds, back to sunshine. And by Saturday night into early Sunday morning, clouds start to reappear thanks to the next coastal system brushing on by. So highs today, low 60s again. Cooler spots remain in the middle 50s probably as we do see another cool night ahead of us. I wouldn't say cold, but temperatures dropping down into the 30s. Friday itself, notice with the clouds, temperatures a little more stubborn. Upper 50s to near 60 degrees. Again, this is now the coolest period of the seven-day forecast heading through Saturday, but the rest of it, James, looking pretty good. Yes, there will be some clouds and showers by next Monday and Tuesday, but I'm not looking at a lot of rain from that system moving through. And in fact, nighttime temperatures, too, in the 50s. Very mild for this time of yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. So again, trick-or-treat should be A-OK -okay tonight. Just maybe a light jacket and you'll be fine. Sounds good. All right, Dan, thank you very much.